Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sri Mangalo Stories, where we share our experience with the meditation practice here at the center. Um, today's question is, what courses have you done and how has it impacted you or what did you get out of them? And um, I'm going to start by saying that I am very sort of new to the center. I, I've started um, my at home meditation course in uh, September. And uh, it was about 14 weeks long, but I ended up finishing, I think in 12 weeks. And, um, and, and it was amazing because I was able to get direction every week and I also thought it was one thing and it turned out to be something really different um, with all the different steps and the different techniques and whatnot, then the buildup. Um, and what I got out of that first course was just this razor sharp ability to um, get into this very present mindful state rather quickly. Uh, I, I had never experienced that before. And I've been meditating with, um, with different uh, styles for a number of years until I you know, kind of stumbled upon um, this Vipassana meditation uh, practice. And I was really um, blown away by the, 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 the target, you know, it was very specific. Everything was very specific and very like, this is how you do it. You don't kind of stray from that. And there's, it's, um, it's, om I used to take martial arts as a child. Um, and so, you know, it, it, it kind of reminded me of that in terms of like, this is how you do it. There's, um, there's this way. And I appreciate that because there's no sort of like questions. Um, uh, it was very, um, very concise and very um, well explained. And I really got it. That in combination, because it was only um, speaking to um, Bhante once a week, uh, you know, and you had to commit to at least an hour of meditation a day. I had a lot of other time to explore, you know, the groups of the Dhamma study group and, and watching the other YouTube videos that are on and really under, trying to just understand more about Buddhism. That in combination with the course was just magical. And of course, having Bhante as a teacher was just um, just, just uh, outstanding. So that's, that's my experience with the first course for me, the at-home course. I did also take the foundation course at the center. I was lucky enough to, to live very close and to just go to the center and <laughs> Again, another something I was not expecting, like, wow, just so powerful uh, and really being able to be secluded and just focus on just going really deep inward. And, um, and what I got out of that was a really true understanding, a really true understanding of how to um, be free from suffering, I mean, and, and pain and, and um, these emotions that I thought were so close to me or emotions that I were, that was afraid of. And, and I feel not afraid anymore. I feel a sense of not just calm, but a sense of like, everything's just gonna be fine. Like everything's fine. Um, everything's perfect just the way that it is and there's a sense of acceptance so that's what I got that was the main takeaway for me and it also prepared me for some of the hardest most difficult times um, in my life like things that I'm going through right now on a personal level it's the most difficult thing that I've ever been through and this these courses have really been able to help me go through this powerfully and and peacefully and um i just can't i just i'm just so grateful i just i'm just full of gratitude for everything that i've learned and the practice itself and i just encourage everyone to to to, to give it a try so that's me does anyone have any questions for me um yes 
I'm just wondering how different was the foundation course from your at home meditation course? Oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> so different. Oh my goodness, we're talking, yeah, at home is, an, you're committed to an hour you know, of meditation and you go about and you live your life. And so it's a very small percentage of your focus. I mean, yes, throughout the, throughout the at-home course, you're encouraged to build up to two hours and also you're encouraged to be mindful throughout the day. The in-person foundation course, it's like 20 hours of meditation. Like it's, that's all you do. Um, that's your focus. That's your main job. Whereas the at home, it's like your main job is, you know, living your life and making a living and, you know, you know, seeing family or whatever. And um, whereas this, there's none of that. There's, and so it's very different. It's starkly different. I'm more interested. I would, not, I'm interested in knowing more about what's the difference between the other courses now. Cause it's like, the, because the first one and the second one are so different. How could like, I, you know, what are the other courses like? Are the, is, it, is it really different or is it deeper? Is it, and so I'm, I'm interested to hear some of these answers from some of the veterans that we have on the panel today. Does that answer your question at least? I, I want to add something to this uh, question. So mainly our focus on the, in the at-home meditation course is to give the students a very good grasp on the technique. So when they come to the center for the intensive practice, they, they already are clear on the technique. So be, when we send them to the you know, whole day meditation, they will not uh, make mistakes. They will not have the mm -hmm. mistakes that we usually have uh, at home, you know, misunderstandings and uh, uh, what we, we correct their practice um, usually, and then they have a very good grasp on it. So basically they can do it when they come. So day by day we increase we we go through the same technique but they can do it they do not they do not make mistakes absolutely that's uh that's perfect. that's that's why it's a preparation for the in intensive course yes yes it's totally learning and it, it's it's yeah that's the difference it's the the, the at home is learning how to do it how to do it fully, all the different techniques. And then the foundation is the actual, like, here it is. You're going to go and you're going to practice for a really long time. <laughs> I like that. It's like, you know, you're practicing playing basketball, sh shooting hoops, and then now you're in the game, um, you know, so it's very different, different outcome, different intention. Um, so yeah, any other questions? Another benefit for me, uh, for I mean, doing the at home course for me was that you know I could do it being in any part of the world, and uh, that was a big benefit because otherwise it's very difficult to physically always travel uh, across the world, and so this allowed me to do the I mean, get a very good understanding of the practice uh, and be guided by Bante uh, and get a very good understanding and and, and I get a foothold of doing the practice on my own afterwards. Uh, all this was possible because of this um, ability to, you know, kind of do it um, online, really, and, and get the benefit of the guidance online. So that's another benefit uh, just to add to the other benefits that have been spoken about for the at-home course. Of course, the residential course is uh, much more intensive and uh, better done at the, at the center. Mm -hmm. Does anyone like to would like any would like to add anything else? Who would like to share their experience, Adder? Tell me about um, what courses you've done. Yeah, so I've I've done the three main courses. I've done you know our at home course and the foundation course, and then our advanced course a couple of times. Um, 
Yeah, I don't have much more to add on the uh, Be At Home and the Foundation course. I think you, you summed it up pretty well. Um, I would say, yeah, just to again speak to the value of being live in a, in a center during the foundation course, um, that whole experience, you know, just gave me so much appreciation for everyone in the organization, you know, for Bonte, of course, for his teachings, for, for the steward of the center, for all of the other meditators and like the whole community and just thinking back the you know, thousands of years of, of Buddhist teachers, um, it's really amazing. Yeah, the foundation course sort of brought uh, that whole history and lineage together. Um, yeah, in a way that was that was life changing. Uh, and the yeah, the out at home course, I'm mostly thankful for because it's just so accessible. Um, you know, I had a young child at the time, and there was no way I was at least at the time, it was not a priority enough for me to like travel to Canada and do a live course. But I knew, you know, if there was a free online course, uh, I would take advantage of that. And by the time I was done that course, I knew, you know, doing a, a live in person course was was something that that I really wanted to be doing. Um, and yeah, like like you all said, it really does just uh, perfect the technique. Um, it, it was pretty cool, you know, Bhante's teaching is very straightforward uh, and, you know, when one has sort of philosophical esoteric thoughts, you know, he can, he can help redirect those into practice um, mm -hmm. and really, really help sort of give laser focus to, to the He's technique. He's so good at that. Yeah. Um, uh, and so then right after the foundation course, uh, I think it was a while, another year or more before I did the advanced course. And it is, it is pretty similar to the foundation course. Um, you're similarly working through the same techniques, um, but there is you know, more intention setting each and every day. Um, you know, if one is, uh, familiar with Theravada Buddhist um, sort of philosophy on on how insight develops, um, one will sort of recognize the course in in terms of that. But um, but for someone like me who who sort of wasn't as read in in uh, such Buddhist philosophy, it still is is built around that and just uh, based on setting an intention for each day to make sure one is, is gaining uh, true insight and gaining an understanding of reality as it is. Um, and it's, it's amazing, I think maybe people uh, who have done the foundation course can, can also attest to this, how a, a brief moment of intention setting, you know, reading a sentence on a slip of paper uh, each day can can really change the experience. Um, and it's just a testament to how powerful the mind is. Um, you know, one, yeah, one brief moment of, of setting intention before meditating can really help one's mind uh, attune to the aspects of reality that, that you're trying to be aware of. Um, so, yeah, I think all the courses have just left me forever changed. Uh, I do like, I like the summary of, you know, the, the at home course is about mastering the technique. The foundation course is, you know, really about diving deep and sort of, and breaking through and understanding. And then in my experience, at least the advanced course is about, is about refining and, uh, really understanding things on a deeper level and and seeing you know whenever i do a live course i am just um partly appalled at, at uh how much how far i still have to go like all of one's uh you know defilements and and all of the mess that we carry in our mind really becomes 
comes clear in that sort of setting. And the advanced course is a way to really sort of carefully work through that um, and, and just be with all the subtle, the subtle hindrances that are, that are affecting oneself. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Does anyone have any questions for Adder or would like to add anything to Adder? I I can add some something. Please. Uh, basically, uh, the fun what difference is uh, very well said uh, what what Adder was saying uh the foundation course is the way it is because the mind jumps here and there and all the basic uh the jnanas are not very clear but um it jumps forward back so it uh it's very good you know it's not forced in that one state i guess um the mind is not it's, it has most, more freedom sort of say Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's different. It's uh, the advanced advanced courses are more refined and uh, it's the fine tuning. And uh, what's the course after the advanced course? Is there another course? More advanced course. More advanced course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Go yeah, ahead. I've done I've done the advanced course twice um and how long is the yeah, advanced course it's a, it's a 10 day um yeah and it's interesting because you're going through you know you're going through sort of the whole uh insight journey that that you might go through in a foundation course but in a relatively rapid and and precise fashion yeah um Hmm. Hmm. Does anyone has who else here on the panel has um, done a course and would like to share? Uh, I could go next. Yes, please. Um, so, so far, I've actually only done the at home meditation course, and I actually haven't finished that either. I think I have like a week left, maybe a week or two left. And um, it's, I, I can probably say that it's the best decision or at least one of the best decisions I've made in my life to actually um, start that course and do it. Um, and to be honest, I don't, I, I couldn't even really explain why. I, I don't exactly understand, I think before, uh, you know, let me preface this a little bit and say, I think I was meditating for about two years before I joined this course. And I would always, you know, jump from this technique to what this teacher is saying and what these people are doing. And I would constantly try different things. And not that any of them were bad and any of them were good or anything like that, but I was very confused and I was constantly trying to understand like, you know, am I doing this wrong? Should I do this? I was constantly confused and I was constantly doubting. and uh, when I started this course, it was the first uh, place I was actually told that, you know, confusion and doubt, that's like something to also just recognize and note. And it doesn't have to be more than it is. It's not like this, you know, it doesn't have to be an obsession that you need to satisfy. It's just, you're just confused or you're just doubting, which is fine. And you, you can just note that that was probably like uh, the most, one of the most impactful things that realization and doing that. Um, other than that, uh, I think a couple weeks ago, like two, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I started having a bit of um, rockiness with my consistency. I started convincing myself that, you know, I maybe I don't need to meditate today. I shouldn't do it. Uh, you know, just constantly convincing myself. And, you know, that first week that uh, that uh, started happening. I meditated only, I think, three days out of the whole week. Um, and then I talked to Bonte and I told him about it. And he said, yeah, just uh, do you want to continue? 
he said, you know, if you want to continue, you, you should meditate one hour a day at least. And I said, yeah, let me try again. And then next week I went up to like five days. Uh, sorry, no. Oh, no. Sorry, I got it wrong. First week it was zero days. Okay, I didn't <laughs> meditate at all. And then second week when I tried again, it was three days. I managed to do it. Last week it was five days. And then now I think so far it's been good. And my meeting is on, my meeting is tomorrow. So I think we've uh, brought back the consistency now. And I think it's been great in this one regard that um, I, you know, cause I've been, I was before this inconsistency happened, I was meditating consistently for maybe 10 weeks or something. And to see the change between like meditating every day and not meditating at all was that that was just a really uh you know painful reminder that wow you know it's not meditating actually like impacts my life in a really really negative way hmm. uh and yeah i was i was able to see again how yeah just how great meditating was and and still is and yeah i'm i'm glad i was able to see that right now i'm really committed to it i i want to continue meditating i don't think there's any reason not to and yeah it's just that's really it i i can't explain it i i don't know why i'm still confused about it but no need to explain i just i think meditating is great and i want to continue doing it amazing amazing thank you so much for sharing um who would like to add to that yeah, uh, I would I would uh, like to say I forgot to mention that actually the foundation course is for this purpose uh, to uh, make a habit out of meditation. So it helps with the uh, consist consistency. Uh, what you were experiencing, it's a uh, it's 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 lot it's harder to do. Uh, to jump in to do the foundation course, but it helps a lot with consistency. Mm -hmm. So that's why you were experiencing, I guess, the problems uh, in on in the at home mm -hmm. version. Yeah, um, and also I'd love to do the foundation course if 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 you know the opportunity ever presents itself. Maybe, uh, you know, the world situations, the pandemic calms down a bit and <clears throat> hopefully I can come visit and try it out. We will be helping you all the way. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Happily. <laughs> Who else would like to share their experience with uh, taking a course and what they got out of it? So yeah, I'll start. Um, so Jeff, you said it took you 12 weeks to complete it. I think it took me 16 weeks. My <laughs> friends were saying, are you still doing it? <laughs> and, uh, part of it was, I don't know, I was very uh, self-critical if I didn't do a week uh, in a way that I thought was proper, although no one was giving me these rules, but I had all these rules in my head. Oh, I didn't do it properly today. It wasn't a good meditation. So I'm doing the whole week again. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. But yeah, I started to be more mindful of uh, um, self-criticism. So that helped eventually. Um, so yeah, it took a long time, I think. It took 16 weeks. It took about six months. <laughs> So I guess okay. that to anyone who's a bit slow, don't, don't worry about it. It's still extra meditation <laughs> and extra time with Bante. I thought maybe it's going to kick me <laughs> off now. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I think that just goes to show you, you know, uh, there's no, uh, people will do what people are going to do. You're going to do what you're going to do and it's going to happen when it happens. Um, but you have to put in the right effort. And I think that's um, that's 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 where I think, you know, the, these courses can help guide you in creating that right effort. So that's amazing. What did you get out of anything else? Did you, what else did you get out of your course? Oh, a lot. I think before I was really um, before I started uh, we plus now was really uh, about quantity and not quality. 
massively mm. I think Edit says that it's about quality not quantity but I was the other way around because I thought well you need to sit through it for hours and hours and hours mm. and actually um I think when I first started that whole meditation course I was you know I did nine days of doing like eight hours each day but then um it wasn't sustainable <laughs> no well I think it can be sustainable if you have the right teacher. And I think I think that's what's amazing about Bonte and these courses is that, and, and I just didn't know anything like, I didn't know that this existed, you know, like I didn't know that there was like, that there's this monk that will actually teach you how to do this every single day if you're there at the center. I mean, that's just amazing. And the fact that they don't even charge, it's completely free to for anybody to just go and take any of these courses is to me, radical, amazing, incredible. Um, and like, there's no excuses not to at all. You know, they're like, all the excuses are, are not there other than of course, right now with the pandemic as you said but um yeah it's it's so that's amazing good for you yeah, and yeah and I think I realized that eventually I was meditating a lot less than I wanted to you know the, than I was imposing on myself and then mm -hmm. I was actually learning a lot more although it was you know less time so yeah that's been a really important lesson but I am looking forward to actually doing quality and quantity at the same time. So, um, well, that will definitely be the foundation course, right? To do quality and quantity at the same time. Even, even for me, uh, the foundation, I mean, sorry, the at home course had taken a long time to do, but um, the, like Ed said, you know, it does prepare you to do when you are doing the most uh, more intensive course uh, that at home course training uh, really mm -hmm. was very beneficial uh, so you know because the at home course you're doing it when you're completely new you don't know anything and so it, it might be that you've you've taken a long time and but that's all good because it's all you know getting more in tune with the practice and helps big time when you want to intensify the whole thing. So I recommend people who are at least new and you know uh, wondering how to do the meditation or how to do this practice to do the at-home course first. It's very, very beneficial to ease you in to do the more uh, intensive courses and uh, for you to do uh, meditation on your own at home after that till maybe you get an opportunity to do the, at uh, to do the uh, you know, foundation course. Uh, all of this will uh, really benefit. So I recommend people to do the at-home course, at least in the beginning. Uh, I just also wanted to add for, for those who are new and haven't, haven't done the at-home course, that uh, it's not simply uh, going over the technique that is already taught in, you know, in Bhante's booklet or in the How to Meditate videos. Uh, there are, you know, pretty much each week you get one one little extra tweak to the technique uh, and i find just on a very mundane level like that holds my interest that makes me interested in coming back week after week and then um you know and then by the end of it you've got this sort of very powerful tool that uh that can help take you a lot deeper than than the original technique i think i also want to add something which is a very important information uh, we i think months ago decided that in order to do the foundation course you you have to do the at home the preparation course mm -hmm. because it's a lot easier um, it was the foundation course was uh, 21 days long so three wow. weeks long uh, without the at home course and then a uh, student just because we had to tweak their I mean Bante had to help with the practice to refine the practice the whole thing and uh, so if someone went there with the online course already done 
they could finish in two weeks or a little bit less. So that's why now we are requiring our students and even it's there in the application, it's a question, did you do the at home course? And so if, if someone, uh, it's rarely, rarely it's accepted if, if someone still wants to come um, and does have at least, you know, went to a Goenka center. So they have some uh, experience uh, with meditation, but still, I mean, knowing the uh, technique is, um, it's helpful. That being edit, I want to hear about uh, your experience with um, the meditation courses and what you've done. Hmm. So I think I think I was very dedicated to to do intensive practice. Uh, however, I I didn't know what I was basically doing uh, when I did the foundation course and even the, my first advanced course, like uh, like Adair was saying, um, I I just read one word in Pali, which I didn't even know what, what it means, <laughs> but the mind was very focused. I mean, it's, it's very, very interesting thing that the mind knows the word, knows the meaning, so. The mind is a lot more powerful than we, we think. Uh, the reason why I didn't know it's, uh, I, uh, Bante was telling me not to read, not to study. Um, so I, I didn't study actually for a year or two, but just uh, I did bare practice. The first time I was there, Bante uh, sort of mentioned that, oh, you should become an instructor. And I was like, okay, I will come back and do that. And so when I, when I uh, went back in um, the next year, I still had to do first um, advanced course. And then um, it was a month to do the instructor course, which was, um, partly studying and uh, listening to the students, the reporting sessions, and then also meditating as well. And then a final meditation um, part, uh, retreat part. So, but still, uh, you know, that's a different, area like it's not necessary for your path at all it's just uh it it will help someone to become a better teacher or a teacher to instruct the students or you know to be able to point out uh, the mistakes or help with the refinement of their practice but uh, obviously for myself and for my mind and for my, my own uh, liberation, I do the advanced course. Um, I would say I, I'm not 100% uh, um, content with, with uh, my efforts, but uh, I tend to do it uh, two, two, um, one time in two months, repeat in two months or three months. Wow. I do you do every quarter. Yeah. Wow. I, I've been doing it uh, into, um, oh, how do you say that? Uh, two months. I did, I did one course in two months and the next and next. Every other, every other month. Every other month. Sorry. <laughs> and then, okay. uh, I became a little bit lazy and now it's uh, <laughs> three months. I think that's quite remarkable. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure your efforts are, um, are I'm like, stand what? out. In the <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like once a year you do the advanced course, One, er, once every other month, oh my goodness. 
yeah it's uh my illness is a constant reminder you know oh mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the divine <laughs> messenger that tells you hmm, i think you should do something before you die. <laughs> amazing amazing obviously it's benefiting you right it's grounding you yeah it's helping. yeah the first time uh when bante told me oh it's a, such such a um blessing that you have this i was <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it, it, it depends how you look at it, mm -hmm. um, really. My intentions of becoming, becoming uh, a teacher was that um, in my area, um, my friends basically don't speak English. They only speak Hungarian. And then uh, I thought, oh, I, I, and they still was, were very interested in learning and but I was, you know, I wasn't trained and I didn't know what to, what questions to ask, what to look for, what, what, what are the problems with their practice and so on. And it was a blessing that Bante basically thought that I could, uh, I could teach. So I was a lot more nervous about teaching in English <laughs> because, mm -hmm. uh, because you know, I I don't feel like I'm speaking the language a hundred percent. So, well, Ed, for what it's worth, I think you do great. Well, I just have a question for Edit, um, which is, to what extent did you find that doing the instructor course and training to be a teacher help your practice personally? My own practice. Uh, is you know the knowledges and the whole recognizing the reality it's not intellectual so what I've gained from the instructor course it's it's more like that intellectual I learned mm -hmm. I learned uh, what to look for and how to it's it's helpful with um, my own practice and my own understanding on things uh, help a lot to recognize what others go through and uh, to correct them. So it's it, it, the other way around, you know, my practice helps the teaching and not the instructor course help the, helps the, my um, practice. Well, I've, you know, Edit, I mean, first of all, I, that's amazing that you are, you know, became an instructor so that you can help your friends in, 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 in a, because they don't speak English. That's like, like Sadhu, <laughs> like it's, it's amazing. Oh, they, wow. They are very grateful as well. Oh, yes. That's so inspiring. <laughs> well, yeah, I've, uh... I think Ricardo mentioned that he, he wants to become one because, uh, you know, uh, many people only speak Spanish and that's very valuable, you know. Absolutely. Many this people can't, uh, can't uh, go to an online, uh, schedule the uh, online course because they don't speak the language. They cannot express what they are experiencing. Wow. So what I'm hearing is that we really need in, uh, international teachers. <laughs> so let's say this uh, situation with the pandemic lasts for a long time. I know we are, I'm being hypothetical here and, and someone like myself, I've done an at-home meditation course. Is it possible to do a second one, but maybe slightly um, more intensively? Um, we, I mean, in special cases and with interviews, we allow students to do the foundation course online, but we, we need to know the, the person and, um, you know, have to do an interview with them. 
to determine if they can do it or not. Who else would, did, was there was somebody else who had a question or a comment? Uh, yeah, uh, I actually had a question for those of you who have done the foundation course and maybe also the advanced course. Um, you know, now that you've experienced all those and you're at home, how does your meditation routine look like at home after doing all of that? Before the at home course, I was meditating about an hour, two hours a day doing different meditation, not, not the Vipassana. And when I started doing the Vipassana, I was, it was very, uh, it was very uh, easy for me to do the, to, you know, to work up to two hours. Cause I was already practicing the, uh, you know, uh, already allocating time for that. It, so once I took the, after I took the foundation course where, you know, it's like medit that's all you did was meditate. I was able to still keep up with meditating about four hours a day, um, two hours, you know, uh, in first half of the day and in, in, in maybe an hour in the middle of the day and then an hour before bed. And I, I, I really only need four hours of sleep. I used to sleep like all the time. I used to sleep like eight, nine hours. And now I need so little sleep because I've just replaced it with meditation, which is more beneficial to me than sleep. So it's like, I still get them. It's like, I've increased hours in my day, um, which is, uh, you know, when people say I don't have time, it's like, well, you make time and this is how to make time. Uh, and so that was kind of in incredible. Um, and now I feel like I am still meditating four hours a day, if not sometimes more. I mean, the pandemic, I'm not working. I, but also I was meditating because I was going through, I was, as I was seeing a lot of personal um, issues. So I just kept doing that because I knew it was helping. Uh, it, it helped me. So um, yeah, so I definitely, I'm not pulling off four hours a day. Um, I have, yeah, my, my lay life is pretty full, uh, and my day-to-day -day practice changes everything that's going on, but usually I think my, my best routine that, uh, is pretty easy to settle into is to get up and, and do an hour of meditating before I do anything else mm -hmm. in the morning and then do an hour of meditating before bed. Um, and again, it's like, right, I, I can do that at the time that, that the rest of my family is asleep. Like I get up for them and meditate and then go to bed after them and, uh, and meditate more. Um, for me also, I've been, working more diligently about uh, incorporating mindfulness into into daily life um, you know through the the techniques that Bonte talks about just different ways of of noting things throughout throughout one's day um, and I do I do a fair bit of like uh, physical labor like factory work as as my work and that is a fantastic time to meditate uh, because you know if if I cognitively know the job well, then I can just really uh, put myself into into every moment. Um, so I think that's yeah, that's the big thing for me. You know, I don't uh, I don't often get ten days off of from my lay responsibilities to to do another course and uh, trying to keep daily practice and then mindfulness throughout the day is I think the best way to, to keep a, a strong practice going. Well, you recently finished an advanced course, right? I, I did, yeah. Um, and this was, right, I had my, um, my, my partner, you know, the, the thing is I, I have kids and, and I, my partner and I sort of share the, the parenting responsibilities day to day. So we sort of, you know, we worked out 10 days where I, I actually went off and stayed at a, a friend's empty apartment uh, and had a bunch of noodles that I could cook really easily and, and make meals for myself 
while doing while doing an advanced course online with Bonte. Um, and yeah, that's actually right. Even in a lot of ways, that was nicer than when I went up to to the center because I had um, I didn't have those extra travel days and sort of every day that I can get off was uh, was difficult. Mm. Um, but but I also think that really I only felt comfortable doing that because I had done courses in the center before and I I felt sort of I knew what to expect and and it was well established in that way. Yeah, that makes sense. I think there's something just definitely very magical if you've never you know done uh, the you know, an intensive in person uh, retreat like this. Where, where you go and you don't have to worry about where, you, where your next meal is going to come from or if you're doing it right or, um, you know, responsibilities like taking out the trash or, you know, everyday life responsibilities um, really prevent one from really being able to go deep. And, and so I feel like, you know, the, the, the in-person retreat, the foundation, it's just so important and it's so pivotal. It's so... Um, it really is transformative. And so I encourage everyone to, to, to take it on when, when it's appropriate. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up by saying thank you so much for everyone's uh, amazing shares. And, um, and it has been very informative, definitely. And I want to continue for everyone to uh, encourage everyone to meditate and um, may you all be free from suffering. Thank you so much and bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.